Hello and welcome to the fifth um, video within inside of this um, file system video tutorial series. Um, in the previous four tutorials what we've done is we've learned about how to create a directory, check if a directory exists, if check if um, the file is a directory, um, we've learned how to rename um, the directory as well. Now you might be thinking there's one more like moving a directory but first of all we need to go over files first um, to proceed on to moving directories because it's a little bit more complicated. Therefore, um, we're going to start off with um, creating an empty file using touch function. Okay. Now, you might think that this seems a bit redundant, um, but it's one of the easiest ways to create a file. Now, if you're a Linux fan, um, then you'll know about touch. Uh, if not, then uh, you'll certainly know by the end of this video tutorial. So, um, what we do have so far is a, uh, let me just show you this. This is then our um, server that we're running and if we do an LL command it will do a long list of all the, um, the directories and files with inside of the document roots and you see here that we've had the YouTube new test MySQL index image FS and array. Now the fs.php is the file that we're running as you can see from up here. What I want to do is I want to create a, um, a test file or a touch file uh, with inside of the test directory. Okay, so we're going to kind of put everything together and then create a file and then check also if the file exists once we've created it. So, um, whoops, let's get rid of that for the time being. So, uh, as we learned already, we can get then the current working directory by using the function um, git cwd and that will give us the current directory. Now, as we learn also, um, that we can use then define um, to shorten down um, the predefined um, constant of directory separator. Therefore, we don't have to worry about whether it's a forward slash or backslash. Now, we also know that get working directory, uh, get current working directory doesn't have a forward slash on the end. Therefore, we need to add one in this case. Okay, so now we're going to be uh, wanting to change directory into the test directory. Effectively, there's no need for this, but just to keep use of all of the um, the functions that we've used already. So we're going to change directory, and we're going to say cwd. I know we wouldn't need to do this uh, either, but just for the sake of clarity, we're going to say change directory um, to the test directory. So we'll just say echo, we are now in um, directory of and let's just do then get current working directory again to show which one we're actually in now. Now, um, because we're in that, prior to this, what we could say is um, say if is directory, yeah, to t check that directory is actually there, we can say then um, cwd and then forward slash test. So we're testing, first of all, if test is actually a directory. We can echo out um, yes, test is a um, directory and then from that point onwards we can just put this in here and we can change into that directory okay and once we've done that whoops uh, excuse me I'm a bit got a bit of a, a bit of a flu today um, so now that we're in that we want to be able to check to see um, whether a file of let's call it example um, dot txt exists. Alright, so we're going to create uh, check if example dot txt exists. Now this is a simple function, so we're going to say if file exists and then we're going to say because we've already changed into this directory we can just use um, the relative path because we know we're in this directory already and we'll say example dot txt now, effectiv effectively, we want to create it. Therefore, we want to check to see if it doesn't exist. Therefore, we'll use then uh, the exclamation mark to, to negate this, to check for um, that it doesn't exist. Right, and if it doesn't exist, what we're going to say is going to say touch, and we're going to say example.txt. Okay. Now, once we have done that, let's copy this once again to make use of learning about file exists and now check if the file exists we can echo out yes the file now exists 
Yay. Whatever. Okay, something stupid really, but okay, so just to reiterate, we're making um we're defining a constant up here of ds, which is then going to replace this directory separator. Um, we're getting the current working directory and we're adding on a forward slash because in this example it doesn't have a forward slash on the end. We're checking if um, test is a directory with inside of the current working directory. So we're checking um, here for equality that it, it is a directory. And we're saying yes, test is a directory if we get here. Otherwise we're changing into that directory and we're echoing out we are now in directory of and we're going to display which directory we are in. And now we're going to check if our example.txt file exists or not. Now by using the exclamation mark, we're testing that it doesn't exist. So if this equates to true, then we know that touch is then going to create an empty file, all right, which is what we want. And then afterwards, if the file does exist, example.txt, yes, the file now exists. We know that everything has worked. So Let's test this, and just before we do that, let's change directory. So if you're not a Linux person, um, then we say C, um, cd test, and we change directory into test, ll to do a long list, and as you can see here, there's the empty file in there already. Okay, so what we're expecting once we run this script, we then see example.txt in there as well. We run the script. Okay, all right. Well. It's because we don't have permission to write in this directory, okay? As you see here, we don't have um, permission here to write in the directory. Just for the sake of purposes of this, um, we're just going to do 775, um, which is then going to give the relevant permissions for this to work um, in test. So let's just run it again. And it's obviously not going to do that. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, I don't want to get into permissions uh, in this video, so for the sake of purposes, we've just given it all world rights um, right permissions, which is not a good idea. Um, but now you can see, yes, test is a directory, so that's fine. We are now in. Um, we've changed directory. We're now in HTTP docs test, and now we can say yes, that the file now exists. Yay! And we come here once again, and we change into test and we ll and now you can see that we've got example.txt has been created and it's got nothing in the file this zero here means the amount of bytes um, in the file and there's nothing in there at all okay so we know that's now been created so effectively in this one video tutorial um, we've reiterated the use of get current working directory function and we've then talked about the is directory again to check whether something is a directory. Um, and if you didn't know already, echo. Um, chdir is then change directory to change the working directory of PHP itself. And now we've we've learnt about file exists. Now we can use either the absolute path, which would be from the root level all the way down of all subdirectories. Or if we're already in that directory, uh, when we've made use of the change directory, we can then use the relative path um, in relation to which directory we're in at the moment. Touch, all it will do is it will make an empty file for you, okay? Now you can't write anything to the file um, with touch, it will just create that one file, which in some ways is good as a reference. Um, if the file is created, um, then do something. If it's not, um, then don't do anything. So you can use files just for deleting, um, and so you can create a file and delete it when you're finished. Just to use as reference whether something has happened or not. Okay, so it's always a good idea, but um, there's better ways of doing things um, through databases and sessions and stuff like that, so and variables. But um, it's just an example. Okay, and once again we checked to see that the file does exist, um, which it does. So there we go. Um, that's just. A short sharp introduction to touch now there's other ways of creating files and then writing to them straight away but I just thought I'd take the opportunity to highlight touch to you because other people would probably start with another function which I'm going to go into over the next tutorials but I thought well let's give touch a little bit of of uh, highlighting first of all before we move on to the standard ones that everyone's going to use all right um, that's it uh, my name is David Thorne Thorne web design 
um, subscribe, like, comment, thumbs up, uh, contact me if you want to, um, continue watching the video tutorials, um, give me any feedback, be it positive or negative, I'm always open for suggestions. Um, otherwise, fundamentally, I hope that you learnt something, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye then.